What if I told you the United States is planning an energy breakthrough so powerful that it could build the foundation for an entire civilization beyond Earth? Not just a satellite, not just a moon base with rovers and habitats, but a full-blown nuclear reactor on the moon. A machine that could turn raw atomic energy into life-sustaining power for decades. But why is it important? The moon has long nights that last 14 Earth days. No sunlight, freezing temperatures, zero solar power. A nuclear reactor would give constant reliable energy for habitats, rovers, mining and a life support systems. But what is a nuclear reactor? Think of it as a giant energy generator that splits atom like uranium-235 to release massive heat, which is then turned into electricity. On Earth, they could power cities. On the Moon, they could power an entire base. The most important question is, will it cause harm to other countries? So here's the twist. Space law says no country can claim the Moon. But if the US plants the first reactor, it could create keep-out zones around their base, giving them a strategic advantage. And that's the reason why China and Russia are planning their own by 2035. But why does the US want to build it? NASA says it's not about weapons, it's about survival and science. A 100 kilowatt reactor could power missions for decades, helping astronauts to stay on Moon and even prepare for Mars. Well, the Moon's first nuclear reactor could power humanity's future. Or spark a cosmic power race unlike anything on Earth. Who will control the next frontier of energy? Or will it change the life as we know it?